Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HZ. This is video 27, and today we're talking about XY modulation, which is really crazy and a lot of fun. So let's go to a new preset, and let's select this XY down over here, and let's take a deep breath because this can get out of hand pretty quickly. So basically what you need to know is that these are user-definable modulation control and performance, right? That's going to be where our performance tab comes into play here. We'll talk, we'll talk about that in just a minute here. So what you do need to know is that there's four X knobs, which are going to be these four here, and there's going to be four Y knobs, which are going to be right here, and we have four sets of those. So one, two, three, and four. Now this is where it gets even crazier. So X1, this knob right here, right, X1, this can control eight different parameters, and Y1 over here can control another eight parameters here. Now we go to the second bank and X2 can control another eight parameters, so can Y and so on so forth. So there is a lot of stuff you can attach to these knobs here. So basically the way that we basically kind of think about this here, so let's get a filter in here and kind of show you how this works here. So we have our cutoff. Now similar to the modulation matrix on this none here, we drag this here and select cutoff. So now this is assigned and we see this little bar right over here. And this knob here, this cutoff is all the way to the top, so the only way we can go is basically to the left, right, which is gonna be this bar. But as we move this, we can see that that bar also moves with it. So if we have it somewhere here in the center, where now this is kind of functioning as a bipolar knob because it's right here at noon, this range is basically bipolar because it's in the center right over here. If we go all the way to the left, this is going to move all the way to the right because we, it's indicating that we can go to the right. Now, if we have this knob here, and let's give it full value here, so full control on X1, and let's hit a note. Now, we don't hear anything until we grab this top little triangle and we start moving it to the right. Now this top little triangle here basically corresponds to this knob moving to the right, and the bottom one is the knobs moving to the left. And where we set this is basically saying, this is the final value that I want you to go to once this is at maximum volume or maximum value, don't go any further past that. So if we have this at zero here, this knob, and we increase it, when this is at 100% here, that's where this triangle is gonna be at. If we move this all the way to the top, then it's basically full value. Now what we can also do is move this knob or this triangle back to the center and move the bottom one all the way to the right. And if we turn this to the right, it's not gonna have any effect because it's inverted, so we would have to turn this to the left. Another cool thing here is we can always double click this here and it'll invert it already instead of us having to drag it manually, or we can double click it again and it'll go back to the center, which is actually pretty sweet. So yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting concept here because we can add so many different things. So let's say for this example, we have our cutoff, right? So we have something kind of like this. So our cutoff here is t attached to X1. Now for Y1, let's say we want to attach the resonance to that. And let's say, let's turn this all the way to the right like that. So we have X1 on the cutoff and Y1 on the resonance. So this is the cool part where we can actually start going into the perform tab. Now we're doing number one here and it's always good to label things. So let's double click this here and let's call this cut and res, something like that and hit okay. And now you'll see that this name is attached over here. So we can kind of know in a certain, I guess a certain parameter, certain kind of concept, what these X, Y knobs are actually doing. So now this is where we get this knob here, this dot, and kind of move this around in a 2D fashion. And you can see these, these knobs down over here move with it, right? So they move as we move this here with our mouse, which is really cool. It's kind of like controlling two different knobs with one click. And you'll notice when we go left and when we go right, that's only moving the X. If we go up and down, that's moving the Y. <laughs> So a very cool concept, and keep in mind, we're only actually using the cutoff and the resonance. We still have another seven we can attach to X1 and another seven we can attach to Y1. And we can go further, we can go to a whole new bank of this thing and we have another eight on each one and another eight on each one and another eight on each one. So it's quite a lot you can do as far as this XY modulation goes. So it's really cool when you have all these over here. Now here on the top right, we can kind of select a list real quick if we're like kind of in this zone here and maybe we're in a different page or something like that. We're not always on this tab. We can select this list here and maybe add something else. However, we can always drag as we did before. 
Also, we can right click and open up the context menu again, as we did in the modulation matrix as well. So it's a nice little easy shortcut to get to things like that. And it's really cool mapping this to maybe a controller or something like that and kind of just moving it physically and maybe doing that with two of them with two of your hands while something's kind of playing. I don't know how you play your stuff, but it's a really cool concept with this XY modulation and it's insane how many parameters you can have here. And as you see X1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So yeah, there's a lot you can do. So play around with it. You'll probably get lost and have a lot of fun and make some cool patches. So that's basically the XY modulation in a nutshell. So yeah, hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.